Hi. As we already discussed earlier how to install all this application like Apache PHP MySQL NetBeans, MySQL PHP My, My Admin and PHP Xdebug on your Ubuntu. Now we are going to discuss how to configure and execute the PHP program on NetBeans using the Ubuntu. So at the time of installation we already seen that when we install the Apache so how to validate whether the Apache server is installed on our Ubuntu or not. So let's see once again to validation, validation of this Apache server you need to type the local host and if you find this particular message then your Apache server will install. To verify the location of this Apache server you need to open the where folder under this where folder folder you will find the www folder this is the look this is the file location of your apache web server now after installation of php 5 just go on your etc folder and search for php 5 so once you find the php 5 you will find all the associated <coughs> configuration file under this php5 folder thus this php5 is running on apache 2 so the php.ini that is the main file that that you find found under the php5 folder of etc if you find this particular folder that means the php is so php is installed on your machine and also you will find the another folder like config.d under this config that the supporting files are there that is for MySQL and Xdebug. To validate how to, to validate of this PHP, what you need to do, you need to open your www folder and create a index.php program file. Under this PHP index.php program script or file you need to write a function like php info as we are writing this function to test the php whether it is properly installed or not now go to your web browser after the local host call this particular file after calling this particular file you will find this output on your screen <laughs> that means the PHP file, the PHP file is properly installed. After this, you will find this configuration folder path under this location that is located under etc and PHP file. Then the INI file PHP file dot INI and the config folder that I already shown you. Under this config folder, you will find the lot of supporting PHP dot INI or other INI files that is related to MySQL or any other thing that is installed with your php now how to check the mysql server is installed or not so for checking first you need to open the terminal window and in this terminal window you need to type mysql so once you type the mysql mysql prompt will be there that means mysql server is installed properly on your machine now click go to exit so when you are going to installing the mysql server it is file installation it will ask a password it will ask a admin password for the root folder so you need to provide the root folder uh, root password so once you provide the root password the next step is you need to set up a connection this is my workbench and uh, no connection strings are there that is been set up with my mysql workbench so i will set up the new connection ok the host name is localhost the ip address is 127.0.1 username is root and now we are going to test this connection so while the installation of mysql server as i told you you need to set up a root password for your mysql server so you need to enter that root password over here because still I do not have any other user. So connection is succeed. I need to provide the connection name. First one. 
first connection will be there now connect using this first one you will see your query browser your default schema php admin and test and the query browser after this mysql server installation you installed one more thing that is the client version mysql server client so php my admin is located on the same location that is under etc and php my admin it will install under your etc folder with the name php my admin in this php my admin you will find the configuration file with name apache.config now once you set up with all of this application once you install with all of this application you need to configure this php my admin also so once you access this php my admin directly without the configuration you will find this error that php my admin was server was not found now how to configure this php my admin with your apache web server so for configuration of this php my admin what you need to do right click on your apache.config file go to the property and copy this location path so once you copy this location path go to your terminal window and type the command sudo gedit as i shown you earlier when you open this gedit with the command sudo the gedit will open with your administrator privilege and you can directly edit in this gedit area whatever you want so now you need to move your location or you need to go on your apache web server because this php my admin is not configured with the apache so where is your apache web server installed that is on the same location under etc and apache 2 apache 2 this is the location where your apache server is installed in this apache 2 you will find the same config file named apache2.config you need to open this configuration file and now go to the end of this file and include that file that is etc php my admin and the file name is apache2.config apache.config over here it is apache.com now save this file and now after save you need to restart your apache server for restarting your apache server you need to start you need to type command sudo service apache2 and then restart it will restart your apache2 web service and now click on the refresh button so as we already configured this php my admin the php my admin will run and we have only one user at so you can connect with that user username and password so the php lite version is showing on your local host okay so this is the setup of php my admin and configuration of php my admin after this configuration the things remain is netbeans the another thing is how to configure the netbeans for php5 development with xdebug support so this is the very important thing that your netbeans will support the xdebug for this support just go to tools and then option and under this option we will find the php tag under this php tag this 
particular checkbox is checked that is open result in web browser go to the debugging tag and under this debugging tag the debugging code should 9000 session id should netbeans dash as debug and the first checkbox is checked that is stop at first line and you need to keep this particular setting into your php.ini file so that is output under score buffering of there is some more certain settings that you need to do after the installation of php5 xdebug so what is that setting that i will show you for that i will open my php.ini file this is my php.ini file so once the xdebug will install on your machine p5 under config t and this xdebug.ini file so when you open this xdebug.ini file you will find the particular location where your xdebug is installed so your xdebug is installed under the user lib php5 this is the folder name and this is the xdebug.so name and it is binded with the key send extension so you should keep in mind that under the php5 under the config folder this particular file will be available for your php now open the php.ini file open the php.ini file under this php.ini file go to the end portion of this ini file and write a key like dba just same xdebug because we are going to denote the xdebug over here and you need to provide this particular things over here in your php.ini file that is it should be remote enable one it denoted to the yes and zero is denoted to the no so we need to keep all values as yes or true x debug remote auto start is one if you are not set it auto start your x debugger will not work with the net pins default enable is one remote handler is dbgp remote host you can keep is uh, keep it as localhost or the ip address of localhost remote port is same that you find on your netbeans that is 9000 you will see here it is also 9000 and the xdebug id key it is netbeans xdebug so you will find the same id key over here session id net netbeans xdebug okay so once we set up all all the things what you need to do you need to restart your apache server as i shown you earlier and then you need to create the first php program from your netbeans so let close this project and we will create another project for php so right just click on the new project symbol on your netbeans go to the php and then php application this php application will ask you the project name we will provide the name php demo the version php version whatever you have it is a local website running on the local web server that's true okay and then click on the next here you will find some web framework no need to provide any web framework and then just click on finish so once you click on finish the index.php file will open for you and if you go under the location that i on that i shown you under the web and www folder php demo folder will be created automatically <coughs> by the netbeans and the same index.php file you will find here that is here now i type first 
code it is for eco and i will <coughs> put a breakpoint over here on my two places so if first i run this application without debugging the output will come it is hello this is the output of my php program now i want to debug this particular program what i need to do my breakpoint is already set also you need to click on this symbol <coughs> so once you click on that particular symbol just come up on your netbeans and you will find the debugger is attached with your program and as we mentioned in our option that it should stop on the first line stop at first line so you can see it is stopped on the first line by this key you will go inside the variable on the bottom side you will see all the variables are there currently i am just working with this php.index.php so it will mark by the green arrow so once you close the debugging once you close the debugging or once you stop the debugging it will create another session named as debugging session end before that it is created a session with name xdebug debugging session start and once you stop this debugging it will override the session by xdebug session stop no execute so by this way we can install and configure our open 2 for the development of php with the use of apache and netbeans with the support of mysql server workbench and client